All right, so it's been like 40 million years, like as long as it took Moses and the Jews to cross the freaking Sahara Desert since the last chapter of a One Punch Man chapter came out. But today, chapter 99 and 100 came out, and I know they're breaking these chapters up from a much larger, larger chapter to like stay up to date with like other chapters and stuff that come out, other manga and stuff that come out. Because other people like put out like 25... 40 18 19 chapters 19 pages a chapter and in one punch man it's been for a very long time they only put out eight pages five pages two pages maybe maybe 10 at the most in the beginning they used to put out 40 pages that's when um my man i forgot his name uh create one the guy that created one punch man that's when he had all his time uh into creating the manga and stuff but now since he put his time in the other stuff he only put out freaking eight pages a chapter and stuff man but and we're going to go ahead and get into this One Punch Man, chapter 99 and 100. I'm going to do both of them back to back, straight up and down like that, because 99, chapter 99 is only eight pages, so I can get through that like that. And you know me, you know your boy, I'm going to be eating something this fucking review, man, because I stay hungry and jump, man. But, all right, we see a lot of people in Coliseum. I'm going to eat some junk like fries and stuff. Man. Don't worry about it. People in Coliseum and stuff, and... <clears throat> What we last left off was when, uh, like, um, freaking, uh, Saitama got sucked into that martial arts tournament. <clears throat> and those guys was in there telling Saitama how he about to get beaten and stuff. And Saitama looking around as a whole bunch of guys that's, that's in there that look like they can really, um, beat Saitama. But we all know that they can't. And if you remember, there's a side story going on while this tournament is going on about how Silver Fang and his uh his um master friend <clears throat> that's another master of uh his friend that's another master of flowing uh water rock smashing fists, I think that's what it is. They looking for freaking Garo. Cause they think Garo is supposed to come to the tournament and try to um kill some more freaking like S class um heroes and stuff. So they're running around looking for him and John while this is going on. But now we're saying people are like, here he comes, the absolute favorite. The atmosphere of the stadium just completely changed. It's like, why? And I'll show y'all to show y'all it. It's the first page and jump. Look at that. Look at that at the top. Only nine, one, one out of eight. Chapter 99 is though. Oh, yeah, this guy. All right, to think that we would have the pleasure of seeing this man's match a second time. And like the entire stadium is quivering with happiness and an anticipation. Hey, y'all already know who this dude is. Come on now. If y'all um been keeping up to date with it, and I think y'all sh should have been keeping up to date with One Punch Man, manga and stuff, because y'all watching this video. Oh, y'all just fans of mine, which I appreciate. Thank you. And like, cause testing, Shiryu makes his makes his makes his uh, uh, appearance. And it's like, get him, Shiryu. And he's walking up to the uh, stadium and jump. Well, who is that on t on the um? platform and the one confronting him in his match just earlier he clearly demonstrated the overwhelming difference in power between him and contestant Lin Lin, Lin, Lin achieving a swift victory is contested Tank Max Tank Max is a um is a hero but he's like I think he might be high B class no he, he's like a class high A class not S class, but he he's like somewhere in between middle middle A and high A. I'm not really sure. And this dude looking at him sinister look like like look at that. He looking at uh Tank Max sinister like what is that about? Like he's clearly got quite the reputation, but I am I really outclassed by this guy? No, that's not it. Remember, it's Lightning Max. Yeah, that's his name, Lightning Max. I don't know Tank Max. What is that? And then, freaking, um, he's like being introspective now. Uh, Tank Max is being introspective, Lightning Max. Uh, the real enemy I should be aiming to overcome is. And then it has like um, a silhouette of the Sea King standing behind this guy. We all know the Sea King is dead. Like, look at that. Oh, that's my light shining off the um, phone. Look at that. It's like the Sea King silhouette standing behind this dude. Like, that's crazy, man. And like, I hate to burst your bubble, 
Mr. Shiryu, but but compared to the monster from back then, you look like nothing but a baby. The grand stage is the grand stage I'm aiming for is a place that's far out of reach for the likes of you. I have to get stronger no matter what it takes. If I don't, I won't be able to protect everyone and everything as a hero. That's unacceptable. It's unfortunate for you, but I've su I've surmised that you possess exactly the right amount of skill to be my stepping stone. So I'll have to be the punching bag to test out my new anti-monster technique. Ah, <sighs> uh, that's right. You were a pro hero for or something, right? I see. So you've been training all this time with such lofty aspirations, have you? All fighters do have their own unique reasons for seeking strength after all. And the guy's like, the referee's like, contestants, take your stance. And then Lightning the Max taking his stance, he's warming up like Bruce Lee and stuff. Getting him ready. And then old dude, she was just standing there and they're like, fight! And then Lightning the Max like dashed after him. Look at that, he's just standing there. What the heck? No, what, what's going on? Oh, that was the end of the chapter. That was the end of chapter 99 and jump, man. I'm telling you, very short chapters. Because this chapter was only eight pages. So, yeah. It was real short and stuff, man. Look. Chapter 100, man. So, lightning dashed towards him. Now he's, like, bouncing around everywhere and stuff. And he, he's coming in like a uh, like a um, tornado or something. Like that. I don't even know. Like, look. <clears throat> he dashing around like lightning. And stuff, and what is this giant swinging double axe kick? Oh, oh, what was doing like giant swinging double axe kick and stuff like that? Then I think he got hit because it looked his face has like a um, like an explosion on his face, and he's doing like oh. so. I'm thinking he got rocked, and he did. Dang. Dang! <laughs> this don't don't even look fair. Look at that. Look at him. Got rocked. Wow. Um. Yeah. <laughs> that's all crazy, but the reason I have sought and obtained my strength. Um. This is uh Shiryu talking. I'm thinking, cause freaking lightning is. He got kicked all the way out of the ring, dog. All the way to the edge of the ring, man. That ring, like, as big as the ring um, in Dress Rosa and stuff that Luffy and Dong Chen Jiao was fighting on. That's how big that ring is. So. Lightning is out, man. Like, he done. Everybody looking in shock and stuff. And um, some of the uh, heroes, some of the um, competitors are, are like, <gasps> and some of them, like, only a couple of them uh, still got a straight face. Saitama just like, all right. <laughs> Look at that. You can see some of them had like that shock look on their face and stuff. And then look at Saitama. <laughs> He's like, all right, that was pretty good. <clears throat> was just so I could live a life of, of freedom and rela relaxation. And that's it. Looks like I was stronger than you, though. My bad. <clears throat> he just kicked him one time and that was it. God, Lee Lightning. Dang. Why ain't this dude a hero, though? Like, what's up with that? And now Geno's talking. He's like, he took out a an a ring hero with a single blow. He said he decided to make an appearance at the tournament for the first time in, in a while in order to take home the prize money, as I recall. So there are still guys like this wandering around in the world, huh? Master level, uh, what is that, pra practitioners? I think that's what it is. Practitioners who conceal... Who conceal themselves amongst the rest of society? Does does this mean that the number of civilians whose strength exceeds that of pro heroes is greater than what is greater than what we originally believe? Um, I think so, because the world is big, man. Remember that it's a big world. Nay, I suppose that is a given. Among those who happen to excel in battle there is no guarantee that they will choose a path in life which puts those abilities to use yeah after all master saitama was acting on his own as a hero 
just as a hobby, unbeknownst to anyone. It wouldn't be unusual if there were other similar men of valor out there somewhere. At this point, it's pretty safe to say that no one on the same level as Master Saitama will ever appear, but this that man is certainly formidable. Heck yeah. He might actually have what it takes to satisfy Master's desire to to experience real martial arts firsthand. It's too early to be certain, however. And then that guy with like the big tail jaw, he was like, Did you see that Charonko? Shiryu's kick? He's like, Yeah, I saw it. Why are you so excited about it? He's like, What? Why the hell is is this punk so calm? Like, ah, uh, probably because he's an amateur. <laughs> he's like, ah, uh, probably because he's an amateur. Like, and then that is the um announcer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you're still on the edge of your seats from what you just witnessed, but nevertheless, nonetheless, we will be moving right along to the next match. The victor of this match will meet will meet um Shiryu in the second round. That was just the first round? What in the world? <laughs> that show took a while. Alright, contestant Ben Patsu of the Harsh Path style versus contestant Snick of the Biting Snake Fist style. You're like, hmm, A rank hero, eh? You look rather weak, I must admit. If I can win against Shiryu, who took out Lightning Max, it could lead to an increase in my rank in the association. All right, let's do this. And he's like, first things first. First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Mm, mm. For real, you the only father that I ever knew. <laughs> uh, I have to teach this fool just what happens when you mock a pro hero. And then it's showing like the uh, the control room is like, hey, we've just um, received word from the security guards. There's certainly an evacuation signal in effect outside it seems a brutal and malicious villainous mysterious being has emerged in the vicinity are you serious and it's like i guess the sound of the alarm was blocked out by the cheering of the crowd for the time being we've got to make an, uh, an announcement within the stadium now where did that now where did i put the evacuation man and like what will become of the tournament I fear we have no choice but to call it off. We have to refund the tickets too. Hold it right there. If you sound if you sound the alarm, you'll you'll accomplish nothing but bring it about mayhem. And then somebody walked into the room, was like, "Who's there?" And it's that dude that looked like a wolf or something. I think his name is kind of like wolf. It's like uh, Bakuzan. Yeah, it's like that's the dude named Bakuzan. Like, were you listening? Even so. There's a mysterious being nearby, and the situation uh, dictates. There's no need to evacuate. If a mysterious being dra draws near this stadium, I will eliminate myself. I had to change his voice, man, because he just looked too freaking awesome not to change his voice. That's Bakuzan right down there at the bottom. And then freaking Geno's phone is going off. He got an old uh, Blackberry phone. You know the, um, the, flip, the flip, um, flip phone uh, Blackberries? That's what Geno's got. Still got a flip phone. What in the world? We in the past, dog. Countless reports of mysterious beings from the association are coming in one after another. This is like the association texts and Geno's like, hey, nigga, this was going on. All right, such um, numbers. Is this for real? Sea City, they're even emerged in this town. Is that the level currently unknown? Should I rely, should I relay this information to Master? And so time over there yawning because he's bored. I like, know. I'm sure he's in deep, he's in deep concentration and preparation for the next match. He over there yawning. He don't even care. I'll head out and put an end to this myself. Come on, Genos. To not allow them to disrupt this tournament, no matter how many small fry are out there, it makes no difference. I'll personally eliminate each one. And that is the end of the chapter and <laughs> we got a very sexy and beautiful photo of freaking blizzard look at her good boy that's what i'm talking about right there that's something to wake up to in the morning look at that i'm backing up a little bit look at that good god boy that's all you need in life right there all you need well that's a lie that's just what niggas say man 
You need money, you need luck, and you need will. That's what you need in life, man. That's how you making this stuff. But um, good chapters. Even though they were sh again short, both chapters add up to 23 pages. So if they both of those chapters could have put in could have been like chapter 99, and then that would have been a full chapter, like 23 page chapter. That would have been cool. But split it up for some stupid reason. I don't know why. Um, I think it's just to get get the chapters out because they got to make some type of quota. I think you got to have a chapter out every week or something like that. Like, you can't go like two weeks without having a chapter out unless if there's a good reason why you've went two weeks without having a chapter out or something like that. But I don't know. But uh, yeah, good chapter, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments and all that, man, about my review and my live reaction to this chapter and on the chapter itself. What did you think about it? How did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? What do you think is going to happen? What's going on outside? Where the heck is freaking uh, Bane and his friend? Why, where are they at? What's going on with these like monsters that's going around in each city that's destroying all the um, heroes and stuff and destroying the villains? Like, why did, what are they doing? Are they going to big takeover? And who is in charge of these guys? Like, for real. <laughs> yeah, man, that's all I got for this freaking live reaction, man. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked anything I had to say, man, leave a like rating. Or dislike it if you didn't have like anything I had to say, man. Down in the comments, leave the comments down below on what you think. And let me pick your brain and let's talk about this chapter. A One Punch Man that was really good and stuff that they could have combined into one, but still was good. Share this video on all social media platforms and stuff and help me get my name out there if you like my content. And subscribe to your boy's channel if you want more of this content. You want to stay up to date with my videos and stuff, man. And come become part of Danny Awesome Fan, man. And this is a channel where real anime fans come to discuss about anime and talk about anime and love it and all that, man. But that's all I got, man. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, man. I'm Danny Awesome. You're awesome. Stay awesome. I love your face. Peace. One love. I'm out. See you later.